Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about silver, specifically SLV, the silver ETF, as well as AG, ticker AG. And also, in general, the silver squeeze. Silver is up about 20% this month. And as a result of the short squeeze and the call buying gamma effects, the popularity and focus on the metal has really surged. Bullion, as you well know, that means coins and bars and silver are sold out across uh, various bullion websites. And so what we're doing to help people analyze for the month of February, we set up a special website called the Gold and Silver Hub. If you go to spotgamma.com backslash gold dash silver dash hub, we've made our equity hub tool, which typically analyzes 3,500 different stocks and ETFs, and that's a subscription product. We've opened it up to show you all silver and gold mining and ETF stocks for free. So you can come on here every day for the month of February. This is updated and we're gonna walk you through how to use this and you can do your own analysis here. So let's flip quickly back to silver and get to it. Over the last week, 25 was the dominant option strike in SLV. And we're gonna show you how you can analyze that. And you can see the stock really pinned that level. And then over the weekend, futures broke higher on the silver squeeze news and we had a kind of a sell off from the really frothy peak and we've settled it in a little bit here in the 2650 to 27 area. So if you go to the gold and silver equity hub and you come down here, you can type SLV in to the ticker box and click on this chart and you get our options analysis. And this is updated every night around midnight. And what it tells you is where all the key options positions lie. And this is not an, a rapid intraday thing. This is where the big positions matter for the larger swings and flows. And what's so fascinating about SLV, remember we talked about how 25 was a big level at the tail end of last week. All of our major metrics going in today were also at 25. Now when features gap higher, what this is gonna tell us here is that 25 is a major source of support now for this ETF. And that's because each of these levels support the hedging or relate to the hedging of the SLV ETF. So if you scroll a little bit higher, we have the ability to look at all of the different metrics, as you can see here, right? We have the hedge wall, key gamma strike, and the delta. These are the ones we're going to talk about. The hedge wall is where our proprietary model suggests that dealers are likely to change the way that they hedge in the ETF that's tied at 25. The key gamma strike is where most of the open interest um, that is related to gamma is tied, meaning at 25, that's where most likely dealer hedging kicks in. The key delta strike is interesting because it tells you where most of the in-the-money options are. And then also note that the call, top call open interest and top put open interest are both tied to 25. So again, 25 is the level in SLV. So what does that mean for the price going forward? Well, if you click the show hide history, you can see the last five days of data for the stock. And what we want to see going into tomorrow is the, some of these levels shift higher, right? These are all 25, as you can see. We want to see 26, 27, something like that show up as a key gamma strike and or the hedge wall because that is implying that call buyers are stepping up at higher prices. So in other words, if you're to look at the stock chart, we know there's some support down here, right? But if this was to move up to say 27 or 26, we, knew, we now have a new support line or area of support for the stock at a higher price. This is kind of backfilling, to use a trading terminology, uh, the, the big move higher, right? If this level does not move, in other words, if it stays down here at 25, that might mean that we have some air pocket and we can get some consolidation back into this big level. So that's really what we're watching for here when we're doing this options analysis. Now you can tell here by total deltas, it's negative. Now this is likely a little bit overstated because it's the maximum possible exposure, but that's telling us it's a negative number. Uh, that's telling us that dealers have a directionally short position, meaning that they will get hurt or our model suggests they will get hurt if the SLV price goes higher, so they need to buy stock to stay up with their hedges. And so that gives us kind of the tailwind idea. And if you look, the call interest, as you can see here, is much larger than the put interest, and that goes for volume too. The volume, if you scroll all the way to the left, we have call volume and put volume. You can see it just swamps put volume. Call volume swamps put volume. And so this is a good cycle for SLV to have a short squeeze sort of in a lot of the popular names, the bullion's going crazy, the, there, there's a lot of support. And if we can get the confirmation of these strikes rolling higher, then that is a really good sign that options buyers are stepping up. And if the options buyers step up to higher strikes, 
that can mean that dealers will then have a new center of gravity, so to speak. In other words, we're going to shift some of these levels to say 27, 28. Uh, and that supports, again, options dealers flow up into that uh, hedging flow up into these higher strikes. If you look at the shape of this line here, this is what we call a momentum indicator. This is essentially volatility. So right now, if the stock sells off below 25, red indicates that put gamma controls the name. Put gamma picks up. This means that dealers may be unwinding as the stock goes below 25, and that can really spike volatility. Our model right now says that higher, there's not a whole lot of volatility, and that's because a lot of the call options that exist are really dispersed over a wide set of strikes. If a whole bunch of people decide we're going to start buying 25 strike calls, this green line can move up, as my mouse suggests, and you could get more volatility or more momentum to the upside. And that's, again, kind of what we're looking for. To give you kind of an idea of a name that had this, this uh, similar form of, uh, of pressure in terms of shorts covering and call buying, but those key levels rolled higher, we can look at the ticker AG, which has a large short interest. But if we scroll down to the history, you can see that the key gamma strike consistently went higher, right? We went from 13, 15, 16, 17 on up. And obviously this stock gapped much higher over the course of the weekend. Uh, but you can see how these levels also came into play, right? Here's the 17 level that we noted was the key gamma level on Friday. And then we're going to gap higher here up into Monday's trading that's today. And again, in AG, it's the same thing. We want to see some type of new level, be it the hedge wall or the uh, key gamma strike form in this area. We discussed this in a little bit more depth. If you go to our blog, you can click that link. And then if you go down to the silver squeeze, great silver gamma squeeze, you can read a whole bunch more about this topic. And again, we cover a lot of what we talked about. And please go to the gold and silver hub. It is free. You can get to it by going to spotgamma.com slash gold dash silver dash hub. Thanks very much.